hello everyone how to solve this problem for the values of x and y if we have x plus y is equals to 8 and x y is equals to 48 and we solve this problem for all the values of x and y so here first we call this is our equation number one and this is our equation number two and now here uh, we need to focus on equation number one so that from equation number one we have here we move this x to the right hand side and we easily get the value of y is equals to 8 minus x and we call this is our equation number 3 and further in the next step we need to substitute this value of y in equation number 2 so that equation number 2 is implies that now here we have this is x and y so uh, the value of y is 8 minus x we put this value here it will become x times of 8 minus x is equals to 48. So now you see here our uh, given equations will convert it into the single variable that is x. Uh, so here now we first solve this problem for the values of x and at the last we substitute these values of x in equation number 3 and we easily get the values of y. So here we need uh, some simplifications here and we multiply this x on both of these values and it will become 8 times of x minus this x times of x is equals to x square equals to 48. And now you see here this is the quadratic equation but not into the standard form. So first we write this equation into the standard quadratic form for this we need to move both of these two values from left hand side to the right hand side. And you see here this is negative x square when we move it into the right hand side it will become positive this is positive 8x becomes negative 8x and this is plus 48 is equals to 0. now you see here this equation will becomes quadratic in x variable and here we have there are uh, three methods to solve the quadratic equation uh, one is factorization method and the second is completing square and the third one is by applying the quadratic formula so here uh, we solve this quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula so that we need to write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a is equals to 1 b is equals to minus 8 and c is equals to 48 and we state the quadratic formula as x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our quadratic formula and now here we need to substitute the values of a b and c in this formula so after substituting these values it will become this is minus b the value of b is minus 8 plus minus square root of b square so b is minus 8 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 48 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our value of a is 1 now we need a little bit simplifications here and it will become x is equals to this is minus times minus becomes plus 8 and plus minus square root of minus 8 square equals to 64 minus 4 times of 48 is equals to becomes 192 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 is equals to 2. So here we need to subtract these two values. So when you subtract these two values we will get here 8 plus minus square root of 64 minus 192 is equals to minus 128 and it is uh, divided by 2. So now here uh, we uh, rewrite uh, uh, this term as or in other words we first apply separately the square root on both of these values and it will become 8 plus minus this is square root of 128 into square root of minus 1 divided by 2 and further in the next step uh, here we rewrite this 128 as this is 8 plus minus we write it as 64 times of 2 becomes 128 and we know that square root of minus 1 is equals to iota uh, and it is divided by 2 so here we get this is 8 plus minus we know that uh, square root of 64 becomes 8 into square root of 2 times iota and here we break this fraction and we write this 2 separately on both of these values 
and after writing these values we get here our x is equals to this is 2 times 4 becomes 8 we get 4 plus minus this is also 2 times 4 becomes 8 and we get 4 times of square root of 2 into iota so these are the two values of x uh, these are the two complex values of x which we get here from uh, uh, from these equations and now we use these uh, two values of x into the equation number 3 and we get the corresponding values of y. So that uh, we substitute uh, both of these two values into the equation number 3. Now first here we write uh, the positive value of x and uh, the positive value of x is 4 plus 4 times of square root of 2 into iota and in this side we will be uh, substitute the negative value it is 4 minus 4 times of square root of 2 into iota okay so here we need equation number 3 and equation number 3 is uh, implies that uh, y is equals to 8 minus x this is the our equation number 3 and we substitute both of above values of uh, x in this equation and now here when we substitute this value of x here it will becomes uh, y is equals to 8 minus x the value of x is 4 plus 4 times of square root of 2 into iota and here we multiply this negative sign on both of these values and it will become 8 minus 4 minus 4 times of square root of 2 into iota so here we get y is equals to 8 minus 4 becomes 4 minus 4 times of square root of 2 into iota so this is the corresponding values of uh, y and the corresponding value of x is this one okay so here uh, further we need to substitute this value of x here and when we put this value of x in equation number 3 it will become y is equals to uh, 8 minus x and we have 8 minus the value of x in this case is 4 minus 4 times of square root of 2 into iota okay so we put this value of x here and now we need a little bit simplification and we multiply this negative sign on both of these values and it will become 8 minus 4 plus 4 times of square root of 2 into iota and we get the corresponding value of y is 8 minus 4 becomes 4 plus 4 times of square root of 2 into iota so this is the value of y corresponding to the value of x is this one okay so further Finally, uh, we just uh, write here the solution set of the given question is that uh, we have uh, there are two solution sets of the given question a given equation. So the first solution set is uh, 4 plus 4 times of square root of 2 iota. This is the value of x and corresponding value of y is 4 minus 4 times of square root of 2 into iota. This is the first solution and the second solution is 4 minus 4 times of square root of 2 iota and 4 plus 4 times of square root of 2 into iota. So this is the our second solution. So this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.